Terry Blackburn here. I have a property portfolio worth over £10 million. I've built and sold multiple companies, some in seven-figure deals. I've wrote two successful books, one won awards all over the world. All of these awards behind me are national and international awards for some of my companies. I coach people one-on-one -on -one, and I run masterminds. Now, if you like what I talk about in this session, if you listen to my podcast, you follow us on Instagram, you follow the YouTube page, if you like what I talk about, and I resonate with you and you can relate to me, jump on my website, which is terryblackburnproperty.com. All of the different services that I have is on there. I'd love to work with you and I'd love to help you get to where you want to be, whether that's in property, whether that's in business, whether it's in sales, goal setting, whatever it is that you want to achieve and want to learn, I'm your man. Enjoy the rest of the episode and speak soon. Hi and welcome to the Rags to Riches show with myself, Terry Blackburn. This episode is about how to live an above average life because nobody deep down wants to be average. They might say to you that they're happy, they're content, they don't want any more. But in reality, I think a lot of the time, if they could choose to be above average or average, everybody would choose above average, right? Everybody would choose to have a better house, a better car, a better body, a better partner, a better income, a better job, a better career, if they could, right? Go on better holidays. Do you want to go to Butlins or do you want to go to the Maldives? Because <laughs> I know which one I'd rather go to, right? So I'm going to share with you in this podcast how to just live an above average life in different parts of your life. Because there's definitely ways to do this, right? So first of all, and I think most importantly, you need to be earning more money than the average person. Yes, money alone doesn't make you happy, but money gives you options, freedom, and choices that definitely make you happier, in my opinion, that is, anyway. Uh, would I rather be skint or would I rather be rich? Uh, there's only one winner for that, right? Um, would you rather be eating beans on toast or caviar, right? Would you rather be going to Butlins or the Maldives? Would you rather be driving a Volvo... I don't know how, what's the worst car in the Volvo? I don't know, a, a Ford <laughs> or a Ferrari, right? You get the point. But in order, a lot of those things come down to money ultimately. So if you earn more than the average person, quite a bit more actually, because I think average earnings is about 25, 30 grand. But if you earn a lot more than the average, it enables you to do things in life that the average can't, live an above average life. And if you want to live above average, as in better house, better hobbies, better holidays, better cars, better experiences, be able to do be bigger and better things, then money is a big part of that, whichever way you look at it. Money alone doesn't make you happy because if you've got no health and you've got no family, no partner, no friends, and you've got money, it's irrelevant. But if you've got the rest of it, you add money to it, it's better, right? So you need to earn more money than the average person is the starting point. How do you do that? Well, that's a huge question. So it depends on what industry you're in, depends on what business you're involved in, depends on loads of factors. But you want to be getting yourself into a position where you can earn as much money as you can, save as much money as you can to then invest it without affecting the quality of your life and still spend some of it on yourself. When you get to a certain level of wealth, then you've got disposable income, you're investing, you've got investments producing more money, your income and all your bills are covered. Then you're in a really, really good place, right? It depends on who's listening to this and what stage you're at. If you're right at the bottom and sort of starting off, then it's about earning as much as you can and saving as much as you can to get investing. If you've already got a decent amount of investments producing more income, it's about making those work for you as best as they possibly can and continue to invest until you get to a place of money doesn't really matter that much anymore. But in order, this, this podcast is about how to live an above average life. If you want to live an above average life, you absolutely need to earn more than 30 grand, more than the average, right? You 100% need to earn more. I would advise starting a business of some sort or getting yourself into a position where you can earn a lot of commission and you can, you can earn more than just your basic salary and getting yourself in a position where you can start to invest, whether that's in property, in stocks and shares, in ISAs, in whatever it may be getting yourself in a position to grow your income. That is absolutely point one. You have to do that. And people say, you know, you shouldn't chase money and this and that. Like, I love money. I love chasing money. Like, I don't, I wouldn't recommend like, you know, breaking any rules in the pursuit of money. But you don't need to. In 2024, like, there's enough ways to make money legitimately that's not that difficult. So, 
you just need to maybe educate yourself first if you don't know how to do that and, and get to work and chase the money. Businesses is just money in. Get the money in. Like, forget about buying zero and spreadsheets and all that nonsense. It's if you boil it down. Get the money in. Because you've got the money in and then what you do with it matters, of course. But get the money in. Yeah. So things like, I would say, have more fun, right, is point two. So first one is to, to live an above average, above average life. You need to earn more than the average, of course, because that enables you to do loads of other things. But do you want to have more fun than the average person? Do you know that, like, the average people out there, the average person, they work nine to five, they get home, they have the tea, maybe put the kids down, and then they watch Netflix until they go to sleep and they start again. Not that much fun in that type of life, right? Is that what like life you want? Do you want to just do like the same as everyone else and be average? Because I don't. I can't think of anything worse than being average. So a way to combat that is have more fun than the average person. I, we do date night every Tuesday, me and the missus. Every I don't work weekends. We do stuff most weekends, either with the kids or just us. I go with my mates probably once a month. We go on a holiday every quarter. I don't really have any hobbies apart from going to the gym and working <laughs> and looking after the kids and spending time with me missus. But if I had a hobby, I would definitely be integrating that into my, my life because y you don't want to just be the average. You don't want to just be the same as everyone else, just watching Netflix every night, wasting time, working nine to five, right? You, you want to have more fun. We only get one shot, don't we? Unless you believe in the afterlife, which I'm not going to get into on this podcast. Like, why don't you? and have more fun if there's something that you really really enjoy to do, enjoy doing it might be going to festivals it might be DJing it might be playing cricket it might be playing the piano I don't bloody know whatever it is that you really like to do why don't why aren't you doing it don't say oh, I'll do it next week I'll do it next month I'll do it when I've got some money that's what average people do be above average and do what you want to do have more fun enjoy yourself smile have a laugh go out with your mates go out with your partner go and book that holiday you know, book a uh, uh, hobby your first, I don't know, learn how to ski, <laughs> whatever, right? Just book it. Book it. Do you want to get to 50, 60 years old and then realise, you know what, I should have been doing that. I wish I'd done that. Just book it, yeah? Point three is have a better relationship with your partner than the average relationship. What's the stat? 50% of people get divorced. 50% of marriages end in divorce. It's either 50 or 40 probably 60, to be fair. but let's say 50% of people who get married end in divorce, right? That's a horrible stat, right? And it's crazy. But why do you think that is? Because people settle for an average partner, they settle for an average relationship, something that they're not even happy with. They just settle in because they want to have a relationship or they want to get married. So why don't you try and have an above average relationship? Why don't you try your best to like, find the person that's right for you and then when you find them you have fun with them and you do stuff like you don't just sit watching netflix every night you have a date night once a week you spend time together you do things that you both enjoy and you treat them well and they'll treat you well in return and all of those things why settle for an average relationship like i don't want an average relationship do you <laughs> no way like i've been there <laughs> in the past i wouldn't go back to that why would you so to have an above average relationship, you've got to ultimately commit time to your partner, by the way. You've got to put them first sometimes. You've got to do some things that maybe they want to do and you don't to have a better relationship because that'll make the relationship flourish. But why don't you do that? Why don't you do nice things together and just have a happy home life? I see some people that are really wealthy, right? And they're doing fantastic things in business and they're making loads of money, but they come home to a shitty home life and they come back to an unhappy home life why don't you just try and be happy at work and happy at home because you can absolutely do the, 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 the both you can absolutely do both of them at the same time it's not one or the other like why should it be think about it right number four is why don't you have an above average house and an above average car an above average watch, if that's what floats your boat. So the materialistic things that you want, why don't you make them above average? Do you want to live in a council house or do you want to live in a, 
mansion? Do you want to have an apartment in Marbella, Dubai? Or do you want to have an apartment in... I have to be careful where I say... Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot down any area. I was gonna say an area of Newcastle, but we'll leave that off. So you get my point. Do you want to drive a Fiat Punto, or do you want to drive a Ferrari? Do you want to have a Casio watch, or do you want to have a Rolex? Yeah. Like, why settle for average? If that's something that you really want, if you really, really want a Ferrari, why didn't you work out a plan to get the Ferrari? instead of settling for your Fiat Punto. If you really, really want that big house in that street that you've always wanted to live on, and you've always wished that you could live there, because all the, I don't know, the footballers live there, or the rich people live there, or you just love the street, it's a good catchment area for the schools, or whatever, why don't you just set a goal and build a plan to get that? If that's what you really flow to your board, some people aren't bothered about watches, some people aren't bothered about cars, I get that. I'm not particularly bothered about watches or cars either. But if I was, I'd be buying high-end watches and high-end cars. My point is, are you settling for stuff that you really want, but you just, you're letting yourself off? Because you're settling for average. Do you think the elite people of the world settle for average? Do you think Elon Musk just wants Twitter and PayPal and um, Tesla to be average? Of course not. He's striving to be elite, right? So yes, he's an extreme example, but why are you settling for average? Why are you settling for the average house, the average car, the average watch when you can have more? I'm no different to you, and there's people doing a lot more stuff than me, and I'm no different to anybody else. And, and Richard Branson, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, well, they're, no, they're no different, ultimately. They've just done different things to get to where they are. Hope I'm making you think a little bit, because that's my intention. And point five, so we've looked at how to have a better than above, a better than average income is important. A better than average amount of levels of fun, things that you do, your hobbies, your enjoyment, do more than the average. A better relationship than the average person. A better, have better materialistic things than the average person. And lastly, if you're not happy with the way you look, why don't you try and have an above average body appearance, whether that is going to the gym, whether that is your diet, whether that is your clothes, your hair, your, if you're a bloke, your facial hair. You know, you see some people and you're like, they dress like shit, they've got a scruffy beard, they just don't look very healthy or good, right? You see some people like that, don't you? And you think, well, what, what, why? Why are you letting yourself go? Why don't you strive to have more, if that's what you really want? But you can absolutely have an above average life in your appearance as well. You can go to the gym, you can... You can eat well, you can you can do better things to feel and look better, if that's what you want. So all of these things I've talked about, your income, your fun levels, your relationship, your materialistic things, and your appearance can all be changed. But if you are happy with being average in any of those areas, then that's what's going to become your reality. Ultimately, if you want to change anything, you've got to start with intention first and think, right, I'm going to change it. But I'm just trying to make you think in this episode about why would you settle for an average life in any of those areas? And if you're not happy, deep down, if you think about it and you're honest with yourself, if you're not happy in one of those areas, if it's to be, it's up to me, is a great phrase. Like, no one's going to change this for you. I can't change it for you. I can inspire you maybe today, but I can't make you book the holiday, build the plan, earn more money, get in the gym, you know, buy the watch. I, I can't make you do that, right? Ultimately, you have to act today and probably over the next few weeks and months and years to put the appropriate levels of action in first to get all of these things. And don't settle for average. Imagine getting to your deathbed. This is a bit bringing the tone down a little bit now. But imagine getting to your deathbed and thinking, you know what? I fucking should have done that. I should have just made a little bit more money so I could have had a better life. I should have just stuck in the gym a little bit more. I wish I'd just bought that house. You know what, I wish I had a better relationship with my partner because we've been unhappy for years. You know, I wish I just booked that holiday. I've always wanted to go to America. Why didn't I just book it? Imagine getting to that stage in life and regretting not doing these type things. I don't want to get there. I want to do everything that I want to do throughout my life. So I get to that stage and I think, you know what, I fucking had a good life, mate. So I brought the tone down at the end there, but I wanted to just do that to, to hit the message 
home quite hard. So if I've inspired you a little bit, think about what good looks like and what average looks like in any one of those areas and decide, right, okay, I'm going to go for it now. I'm going to really change that part of my life because that's important to me. And I'm going to be above average. And then you're going to take the appropriate levels of action from today, starting today, ongoing for the next, might take a few weeks, a few years, might take God knows how long. But if you keep going, you're going to get there. Don't settle for average. Aim for, what's the phrase? If you aim for the aim for the moon, you hit the stars, I think. Something like that, right? You get me point. Reach for the moon, you hit the stars. That's the lovely lady who's helping us with the podcast uh, today. But uh, thanks for that. But you get the point either way. Whether it's moon, stars, whatever, you get the point. Just don't be average. Don't get to that later stage in life and think, I wish I'd done that better or more. Yeah? Strive for it now, especially if you're young listening to this and you've got loads of energy. Especially now. If you're in your 20s, right, you should be on it. You should be pushing mad hard. If you've got no kids as well, like you should be pushing mad hard because just as I, I'm 35 and I've got four kids, it, it's hard <laughs> when you, yeah, it might, I've still got great energy levels, but not as much as I did when I was in my twenties. And now I've got kids to think about as well, right? I, I, I can't just book the holiday. I can't just work later tonight if I've got to put the kids all right. So you get the point. If there's somebody who you think needs to hear this message, if you think somebody is maybe settling for averageness, in a certain part of the life or you really want to inspire someone, please share this podcast with them. Click the button to share it with them. You can share it with them on WhatsApp. You can share it with them on Messenger and all sorts of email as well, I think. Just share it with them because hopefully I can help them and inspire them just like I've hopefully helped and inspired you today. So don't just take notes, take action. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all soon.